Good morning everybody. Just got the live started. I'm hoping it's working. Just got to connect the tablet now so that I can see everybody's comments and respond. Just got the live started. I'm Oops, hoping sorry it's about working. That. There we go. Hello, how are we? All right, I'm just going to now get you set up and then we can get ready for this live. Oh, brilliant. I look forward to having you with us. You're our last read for the night anyway, Tina. So you will be in about two hours. I will be attending to you. So you've got two hours before you have to actually jump online. Right, I am tilted a little too high. You can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Sorry about this. Just got to finalize setting it up. Hello, how are we, Wadley? <laughs> now I can't see myself. I've tilted a little too far. There we go. All right, I'm just going to now cleanse the space. So whoever's with us right now, Feel free just to sit with me in this space as I put some herbs into the cauldron to cleanse the circle. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. I knew it would clear up. All right, so I'm going to tag Laura Bryan now. And I can't see the timestamps again. Why can't I see the timestamps? There we go, two. Oh, I can't seem to find you, Laura. Is anyone able to tag Laura Bryan for me? Because I can't seem to find her. It was allowing me to last night, but I can't seem to now. I always seem to have these technical issues, but it's perfectly fine. I'm starting to get used to them. Gotta love Facebook, don't we? Thank you so much, Mr. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I will get to tagging you afterwards, Laura. Um, yours is about three minutes to, into the stream and I'm going to cleanse the space and start pulling some cards for you. I'm gonna hold the space here for 10 minutes and then about eight minutes in, I'm going to stop the reading and I'm going to sit with you for about two minutes and I'm going to heal, cleanse and just sit with your energy and chime the bell and burn some herbs in the concoction that I've created to help cleanse the aura. I'm currently sitting in the earth triangle of my medicine wheel and the energy that I will be sending through today is very grounded, very clean, very strong. So I hope, I hope that this helps. Hi Shazair. Start by drawing. 
drawing a small spread for you and as I go through the spread I'll explain it. This is your present moment and this here, so it, I read the energy and I'm reading the present moment through here and your present obstacles. This card here is marking your headspace. And then from the energies, I'm also reading for your masculine energies, and these are the things that you control, and that's the representation of this card. These are the physical things in your life, the things that you can physically touch that are tangible, such as money, friends, love. Then this card here is a representation of your emotions and your feminine energies. So I'll be reading into this card here once we get into it as I've gone through the spread. And then this card here shows me your grounding. So from all of this, I'll be able to help, hopefully get an in-tune reading with you, Laura. And from there, if you can jump in, let me know. And we can start answering any questions. If not, I'm just going to start translating all of the energy that comes through. I'll be drawing different cards from the extra tarot decks that I've brought in to the Oracle deck and then the manif Manifestation Manifestos. These cards here I find to be very powerful messages from the spirits, very straight to the point. So, starting with your read now, I'm going to turn the clock on and I'm going to hold space for eight minutes for you. The Page of Wands tells me in your overall moment, this card is actually reversed, so this here tells me, when I look up here as well, looking at your headspace, it tells me that recently you've actually received a lot of bad news. And this is, comes from friends, family, loved ones, work, it's pretty much the triple trifecta. This is telling me that it's actually constantly playing on your mind. But what I'm noticing is within your obstacles, you're your only obstacle. Your obstacle is actually marked by the Ace of Cups. This card here is the representation of water because the cups represent water. It's also the representation of great fertility and great growth. The Ace, when we see it come up in a tarot spread, shows the start of something. It shows the beginning of something. And this card here is actually standing upright. So what this is telling me that you are your own worst enemy in this moment and spirit and energy want you to know that you are your own obstacle as horrible and hard as that is to sometimes hear i feel that you are very strongly resonate with that um going to your head space this card is the three of swords reversed this here is signifying to me that you are holding on to a lot of anguish swords are the representation of cutting things it's like a double-edged blade literally it shows me when this is reversed. Sip. Sip, Diesel. When this is reversed, it shows me that you are holding on to so much anguish. You're holding on to a lot of pain. You're not letting things go that you know that you feel like you do need to let go. Um, it's. I also feel that you have a terrible anguish with a lover as well that is constantly on your mind. This is somebody that has actually betrayed you in the past. And you are so worried they're going to continue to betray you. Going down here to your masculine energies is the Page of Cups reversed. This is where I'm going with the Page of Wands and your obstacles at the moment. From these energies here, it's telling me that the things that you have been told have come from the physical realm. Hi, Diesel. Have come from the physical realm. They come from the people that you love, the people that you know. Yes, you want to get involved in this too, don't you? And the Page of Cups wants you to know that you've got to let things go because if you hold on to things and you hold your cup upside down, the messages that you're going to receive, you are not going to listen to. So you're not actually going to take heed to it. And I'm saying this because the Ten of Wands is a card of great strength and it's in your emotions. This card here is also reversed. The majority of your spread is reversed, which means you're holding on to a lot of anguish. You are holding on to so much pain. He is definitely a therapy dog. I'm actually training him up to be my therapy dog because I have a terrible angoraphobia and I can't actually leave the house without him. Um, so going back to the Ten of Wands, this card here is showing me that you not only have taken a lot of information on recently, but you hold on to everybody's burdens. You carry everybody's weight. I can literally just feel feel the stress that you hold it's a great burden and emotionally it is so exhausting and draining from you going to your grounding is the star reversed it, this really shows me that you've got so much turmoil in your life right now 
and you just don't know where to go. You don't have a grounding. The star being reversed in your grounding shows me that you, you feel so terribly lost. Oh, he absolutely is. Aren't you, Diesel? Good boy. Good boy. The star being in your grounding also tells me that you've tried to plant a lot of seeds recently. You've tried to get a lot of things going, but nothing just seems to work, and you feel like you're about ready to give up. I'm literally, I have this feeling that spirit is definitely telling you you do not give up you feel like you've given up you haven't given up what you should finally this is the card that i've just drawn from the manifestation deck this card here is telling me that what you should do is finally face things in your life and the truth of the realities of the things that are preventing you from growing from your own happiness what can you do about what you're doing right now how better can you connect with in this moment and how can you master the hours that demand things of you this tells me that you've just given up so much that you're just like, nah, I'm done, I'm done, I want to stop. Spirit wants to remind you is you just need to breathe a little. Everything is hard, but life was never meant to be easy for you. Life, because in, I had this feeling, I'm just going to draw a couple cards. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Life was never easy for you. It hasn't been easy for you growing up at all. I've, I have space in my next lives, unfortunately, Alice. So please send me a message afterwards and I'll fit you in. So going back to this, the Ace of Wands is telling me that you've always been the person that people come to to speak to. You've always had such a strong energy about you, such a clear head. You've always been, um, how do I put it? your friend's therapist. You've always been the trustworthy guide and you've always been the blessing in disguise for people, but you feel like you lack that. People don't give you the same empathy that you're trying to give out and spirit wants you to know that they are, but because of everything that's going on, you've just got to bring space within yourself and stop letting the world hurt you. This is very much the energy I'm getting. And look for the signs they are literally everywhere literally because of all of your pain and all of your anguish we are spirit is literally i'm literally getting from them we are trying to talk to you we are trying to help you we are trying to heal but closing the door on us is not helping hi dina hi karen so i, I hope that this is resonating with you they're also telling you, as going back to your grounding, all of the things that you keep trying to do and the things where you've just gone, no, no, I'm done. They want you to know, just go for it. Keep going for it. This is why we're trying to send you the signs. We, we, we want to help you. We really, really, really want to help you. But you are very, very, very much going here to the Three of Swords, which is your headspace card. You are so stuck on the world's problems that you are literally forgetting about yourself and the things and the dreams and the ambitions that you've so craved for yourself. The Eight of Pentacles reverses. You have a... The Eight of Pentacles is the card of caution. When it's reversed, placing it directly over where I have in this spread here, which is your present moment and your obstacle, the Eight of Pentacles being reversed is telling me that throw caution to the wind. Everything is hard. Everything is always going to be hard. But throw caution to the wind because you have great success coming. The Pentacles are the cards of earth and grounding. They're also the cards of profit and success. These here represent that once you absorb everything that's happened, and it's going to take some time. I can definitely feel it's going to take some time. But once you absorb it all, everything is literally going to work out absolutely beautifully for you i hope that this has all resonated we've come to our eight minutes so now i'm just going to sit with you and i'm going to cleanse the space i'm going to burn some herbs for you that i've pre-concocted to help cleanse your auric fields so if you're here just sit with me as i cleanse and send you my healing energies you have a lot going on and I, I really, really wish you the best.
is such a heavy weight and I just hope that this helps try and cleanse it and I hope that the energy can help ground. Thank you so much for allowing me to share space with you, Laura. All right, so we're going to move on to our next read. So I'm just going to cleanse the space of all of the energy and the work that I've just done. And Pippi Marie, are you there still? If you are, please just let me know. If not, I will timestamp you in. I'm going to timestamp all of you in afterwards, regardless. So if I don't get to you now, you will definitely be able to find your timestamp after the live has finished in the replay. Thank you so much, Mystical. All Pippi, I've just tagged you in. If you're not there, that's okay. I'm going to start by lighting some herbs and connecting to your energy. You are a very, very strong lioness. I don't know why, why I keep getting prideful lions with you, but there is very, something very significant about a lion for you at the moment, and I feel that you definitely, definitely should be looking into this if you haven't already looked into your spirit guides. I do not feel that this is a spirit guide, but I definitely feel that this is an energy you really need to be imbuing and holding on to. As I said before this live, and as I say all the time, I am an energy reader, and I am definitely feeling that you need to take the energies of the lioness and hold on to it and take so much pride in it. There is so much power in the lioness. So much power. Okay. So we're going to start this now by working on your spread. And this is your present moment and your present obstacle. This card here signifies your head space. Oh, you've got three major arcanas already. this spread I'm getting in your present moment there is actually a lot going on for you and it's going really well but at the same time it's really really hard the devil is a signification of removing great toxicity the devil is actually one of my favorite cards being a Capricorn too it is also one of the cards that I'm born under um, it's a card of allowing yourself to remove all toxicities from life remove addictions remove gambling it's not a terrible card or a nasty card like a lot of people refer it to the devil in itself is actually a very beautiful card like the fall it literally tells you to keep doing what you're doing you are strong life is hard but removing the things that are actually holding you back are what are going to help you move forward because your obstacle is marked by the major arcana temperance this card here signifies great messages coming in from the divine great messages coming in from spirit it's showing me that your seeds are sown everything is moving forward start listening start learning start adapting start growing start taking the steps that you've been putting yourself down for and moving them forward everything is going to start working for you there is nothing holding you back in your headspace i've got the star so the star is signifying that you've planted your seeds it's literally sh showing me that in your mind you've got all of these all of these things that you want to do you've got all of these ambitions you've got all of these goals and you're really just focusing on getting them done you really just want to make sure that you put the foundations down correctly like when you put a seed in the ground you don't dig it up you watch it grow once it's grown then it's got a strong foundation already so what you're literally doing right now in your own mind is thinking about all of the things like this is definitely what i'm getting is you you're thinking about planting all of the seeds putting all of your endeavors down into the future and making sure everything works your masculine energies are marked by <laughs> the page of cups and your emotions are very marked by the ten of wands both reversed just like our previous reading for laura bryan it's 
signifies that you've had so many things come in recently, messages from the people that you've loved, that have not been an easy pill to swallow and you've just kicked your cup upside down and you've got, I can't deal with these emotions. I can't deal with these messages right now. This is just too much. I have so much going on in the tangible physical world already. I can't handle this. And emotionally, I'm feeling very much the same. With the Ten of Wands, this here is signifying that you are literally carrying so many burdens on your back. You're carrying everyone's stress, everyone's pain, everyone's endeavours, everyone's energies. You're literally just holding on to all of it and you're not wanting to let it go. Spirit and energy is telling me that you have to let it go. If you don't let it go, you're going to hold yourself back. You're not going to hold yourself back, you're just going to ponder things a lot longer than you required. You're going to sit on things a lot longer than you need to. Your grounding is marked by the emperor. This is telling me if he hasn't come into your life already, there is a man of significant prowess for you. This is not a lover. This is definitely not a lover. I'm definitely not getting a loving energy. I'm getting a work energy. I don't know if you've got a new job coming or if you've just recently left a job. But your grounding is showing me that there is this big opportunity coming for you. It's the Emperor. The Emperor is a great it's masculine card. It's a great card of strength. It's, it's like the Empress. Except she's there telling you about all of the hidden messages and all of your emotions and that. The Emperor is telling you, just do it. You've done what you need to do. You're holding on to everything. Now put it forward. Put that energy forth. Burn the fire. Burn the stars sit on top of the world, sit on your throne and rule. There are messages coming through and be the lioness and take them. You have so much potential in your future. This is just the energy that I'm finding is just incredible. If you just keep going with what you're going right now, you are going to go so far. You are attracting what you're doing and going down to your grounding card, daydreaming as the angels and the energy is telling me. It's the only thing that is really holding you back is you, you just sit on ideas a lot and they want you to know, just do it, get it done. You've got all the power. You've got it in you. Do it. There is nothing holding you back except for the fact that you're just done with life and you want to focus on things. And you know what? That is okay. You are allowed to be selfish. The angels want you to know it is completely okay to be selfish and go with what you want to do because you can tip out the emotions. You don't have to deal with those problems. And emotionally, you do not have to carry everybody's burden. You have your own family. You have your own energies that you have to deal with. And spirit wants you to know that just do these things because they're going to be tangible and beneficial for you. You're back, aren't you, Daisy? Right. And now the last two kinds that I've drawn for you, with this, which we'll get into afterwards, this is their message from you when we're done, is the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. These are cards of anxieties and fears. I've placed... They've been placed in your emotions and your masculine fields. The Seven of Cups, emotionally, is a card of illusions and deceit. You feel like you're eluding yourself, and the spirit and energy will just want you to know that these preconceptions in your mind are only your preconceptions. You have power, you have strength, and you have the ambition to get it all done. The Eight of Swords in your physical and masculine energies shows me that you are very anxious to actually get these things off of the ground as well, but... You've, you're laying the foundations. You've got all of these energies. There's these big opportunities coming. You and your mind, you know what you need to do. And 
and their message to you through the manifestation cards is we should not fear an obsession for building a great and free life. You have every right to build your life the way that you want, the way that you require, and the way that you need. Spirit wants you to know that this is your goal. Oh, you have so much potential. It is incredible, hun. So with that, I'm now going to sit with you for a couple of minutes and we're going to send you some grounding and healing energy. I'm going to use my bell and cleanse your auric fields and just hold space for you for the next two minutes. such a beautiful and divine soul I hope that this reading has connected and helped you out and that I hope that it resonates well with you now that I've that I'm going to now cleanse the space for our next reader. Ooh. So, are you there, Pip? Are you there, Katarina? If not, I'll tag you now, and if I can't tag you, I'll tag you in at the very end of the stream. Is someone able to tag Katarina for me? If not, I will definitely get back to it at the very end of the live so that you can find yourself. Are you there, Katarina? Hi, DJ. Hi, Andrew. Alright, Katarina, if you're there, I'm going to start making space for you and I'm going to cleanse the area properly now by putting some more herbs on for you. And then we're going to get right into this. Oh, I feel a very happy energy from you. You've got a lot of joy in your life. But at the same time, We'll get into this once I start pulling the cards. That's all good, Pippi. Oh, the star is coming up in 
every single one so far you guys are all laying your foundations keep doing it you guys are beautifully brilliant okay. so as I've said in the other readings obstacles this card here is what's signifying and showing me what's on your head in like in your head space this is your masculine energies and these are your feminine energies and these are your groundings so what I'm getting from your present moment is you've got a lot of friends around you and you're laying a lot of foundations and rules and stigmas with them you're literally putting your future plans into effort as we speak you are so welcome to be you are your friend circle, they're your obstacle, but they're not an obstacle at all. They are your strength. They are your foundation. They are there to guide you, help you, hold you, be there for you. They love you endearingly. But what I'm getting from your headspace is actually marked by the lovers. And from your grounding is the Six of Cups. Am I right in saying that a man plagues your mind a lot? somebody that has been an on and off relationship for you for a very 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 long time i don't know what sort of relationship this is but this energy is an energy that i'm feeling has been connected for you for well over a decade it's a very very strong connected masculine energy and this person is constantly playing on your mind and when i say masculine energy it doesn't actually necessarily have to be a man or a woman the notion of masculine energy is just somebody that has quite a lot of control. They know exactly what they want in life. They've got what they want. They go for what they want. They are very ambitious. They're very driven. They're very strong. But in your headspace, I'm being shown that this person just plagues your mind a lot. Then I, when I go into the masculine energies, the three of pentacles is reversed. This person, I feel, has a lot of power over you when they say something you almost take up like law you almost take it like the he then you the word i'm looking for is you just want to impress them so if they're saying don't do something even though you love it you're actually going to i feel stop stop doing that and the, the, the energy that I'm getting is you need to have more power in yourself. Do not let people dictate your choices. You've sown your seeds. Your friends are incredible. But this person and this energy that are just, I feel this very strong energy. They are not your mother. They are not your father. They are not your boss. This is very much what I feel like I'm being told to tell you is they are not the person who should be dictating your choices you are your own soul going over to your emotions and your feminine energies is the three of wands reversed this card here is showing me and signifying and telling me that you've got these ships that are coming in but at the same time all of these ships are a little bit damaged it's i feel like this is a little bit of your past that i'm picking up on this is just a lot of anguish you want to burn the ships and build new ones. You literally just want to let go of your past and move forward is very much what I'm getting from this. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, and if you're on the live, please correct me if I'm wrong. But I definitely feel that like you are so done with your past. You've got these amazing friends that are around you. You've got this amazing group of people around you. But the only thing that is really holding you back is your grounding and this person that plagues your mind. I feel such a heavy, just a heavy weight that this person has so much significant control over you. But it's not a control of the aspect that is, what's the word? It's just, you just really want to please this person you just really want to please this person is the energy that i'm getting but this person has never reciprocated i'm getting this very strong lack of reciprocation because the six of cups is reversed i'm getting a very strong just lack of general empathy 
if that resonates with you at all. And this person, keep, this energy keeps putting out my candle of masculinity. I have had to relight it three times already. <laughs> I'm getting a very, this person has taken, it, this person is really taking so much power from you. And you are, are very, very strongly, like the messages I'm getting is you, you just need to take your power back. You really need to take your power back from this person. And be honest with yourself about it. The angels are literally telling me that you have to be honest with yourself. Look into your heart. You're going to know the truth of the situation. And it's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For your, You will find your support and guides through any necessary changes. Lean on us for courage and lean on your friends for courage. And the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon your angel wings. You will fly free as soon as you can release this stress this person has way way too much power over you yes the nine of pentacles and the card of death reversed they take a lot of your joy as well you don't want to admit it to yourself but they just they take a lot of this is, the, this is definitely that energy that I was feeling that I couldn't quite touch. It's, you need to let go. This spirit is definitely telling me that you just need to let go a little in order to grow. You've planted all of your seeds, your present moment. Everything is literally working out for you and will continue to work out for you. But if you just hold on to this reciprocated energy, it's going to keep holding you back. And you've known this for a very long time, I'm being told. This is not new information to you. This is definitely not new information to you at all. The Emperor reversed, put onto your present moment. This is definitely not information that you just, you know this, you know this already. I think this is more of a confirmation for you that I'm getting. And I need to shuffle more. But yes, this is definitely a confirm. I feel like this is more of a confirmation. You are definitely, like spirits and angels and everyone wants to tell me that you are on the right path. L love was never absent from your life and it is not bound in your heart or in your relationships. This is not capable of being owned or lost. You have allowed yourself an awareness of love to be diminished and that is all. This is the motiv motivational card that I have drawn for you. You hold so much love for this reverence and spirit just really want me to remind you is you need to make a choice because it's the only thing that's holding you back with that i'm going to leave that with you and i hope that that's resonated feel free to please contact me about it if you need to but i'm now going to hold space for you for two minutes and cleanse your auric fields and send some grounding energy and hope I just I really wish that everything gets better, that you have a lot of potential, a lot of potential.
healing energy, cleansing your auric fields. This burden is not your burden to carry alone, Katarina. Your friends are there to support you. Yeah. I'm going to tag you. There we go. And your timestamp is at 42. 42. Hello, Karen. All right, so I'm going to start by clearing the space for you. And then we're going to get right into it. Right. get into this. I am excited. Finally get to delve a little deeper with you today. Right. We are definitely seeing a lot of a lot of repetition today. So I've just drawn the devil and the seven of wands for your present moment and your present obstacle. The page of wands reversed as your headspace, the ace of cups in your masculine. And the Ten of Cups reversed in your emotions and the Two of Cups reversed in your grounding. So this here is telling me that in your moment, your overall present moment is you've just removed a lot of toxicity from your life. You've literally just gone, no, 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 no. Energy is telling me that you've just gone, no, I don't want these shackles. I'm done with these shackles. I'm moving on, I'm moving on, I'm moving on. The Seven of Wands as your present obstacle is showing me that you are a very, very, very strong warrior. You are constantly fighting, battling, and going, no, that's not right, I need to do this, that's not right, I need to do this. You do not have an obstacle right now. If there was any obstacle, I could say that the obstacle is definitely your, I don't mean this to be rude, it's your overconfidence. You know what you want, you're like, yes, 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 I'm going to get all of this. So correct me at any point if I'm not resonating, but your obstacle is literally just, I am so confident a lot of people, I'm getting this very strong energy, can find that very, very confronting. So, and from going from that, now we're going to move into a headspace. The Page of Wands, the reason why I'm saying this is the Page of Wands is showing me that in your headspace, you've been told a lot of things by a lot of people recently, and you just want to argue. You're just going, no, no, no. This is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to do it. You can't tell me to do it this way. I do not want to listen to you. But what spirit and energy is trying to tell me is these thoughts and these thoughts that you're pondering in your head and all of these decisions that you're trying to make, the people are only talking to you and letting you know these things, these things because your confidence can make you overthink and think that you are correct. I see that you I see that and when I say your confidence is in not totally confident is you know your own power that is the confidence that energy is letting me discuss and showing you is you know your power you you do not have the face or the physicalities of I am a confident person you're not going to say that out but by the confidence that you do have is I know my power I know what I'm worth and I know what I need to do 
and the page of wands is showing me that in your head is this power makes you really just second guess what people are telling you a little sometimes but they're only saying it as the page of wands so all pages are in with the way that i read that these these are the messenger cards and pages come with a lot of love and having the page of wands in reverse in your headspace is people are really trying to show you a lot of love and show you that you've got all of these beautiful plans but maybe if you just took a small step left and one step back it would make you move three steps forward because they would allow you to assess the situation from a different possibility and go oh my god i didn't think of that that would be a brilliant job prospect going to your masculine energies and your feminine energies they're marked by the ace of cups and then the ten of cups reverse the ace of cups shows me in your masculine so this is the things that you control your finances and all of that your energies at this current moment everything is going great everything well it's not it's not going great but everything is starting everything is literally starting you put things down things are happening ace of cups is showing the you've got so many things coming so many potential opportunities and great joys that it's all founded it's all started go with it just go with it but listen to your friends they're literally only guiding you you don't have to listen to them but comprehend what they're saying because the ten of cups reverse this is the reason why i say what why i've been saying what i'm saying is the ten of cups reverse in your emotional space is not a good card to have there this here shows the end of commitments the end of friendships the end of ceremonies the end of just general happiness it's it's showing me that if you hold on to these mindsets a little bit you're actually going to be pushing people away your um, spirit wants you to know that there are some people that you know that you need to push away but not everybody needs to be pushed away you need to embrace the world a little more you are perfectly embracing it you do a beautiful job of embracing it spirit is definitely telling me that but they're going just 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 listen just listen that's all they want you to do spirit is just wanting you to listen because if you don't the ten of cups in your emotions and the two of cups is your grounding you are going to lose a lot of people by no fault of your own or theirs but your world is going to potentially be shifted into something that you're not very comfortable with i definitely get that and being out and just because you can't people could be the reason why that i'm definitely getting these energy readings coming through but it is not bad at all and knowing this you can just go okay hang on like like i said i am not a clairvoyant i only read the current energy of the moment but knowing that you can be quite i think the word we're looking for is donkey quite like a donkey very stubborn can cause a lot of dress and the spirit wants you to know don't be stubborn there are some great opportunities going to be coming in through the messages of the friend and the people that you love and adhere to okay let's shuffle and let's see what the angels have in store for you love so the messages from the angels are the opportunity to forgive and innocence definitely like we were saying you need to just remove your stubbornness a little <laughs> it's always and so the opportunity to forgive this this situation brings you the opportunity to heal release negative patterns and hold on to the intentions and seeing the other peoples in their own inner divine light and goodness they the angels are saying that they're going to be there to help you release these unforgiving thoughts feelings and energies and lift you into a higher place of compassion and innocence beloved one everything is a guiltless in truth and no one can alter our handiwork or perfection just give your feelings to them and they want you to know that they're going to take them and really help you as you said get better move forward grow adapt cleanse heal and just be a better you there is nothing but growth coming for you and you are your own worst enemy sometimes but you know what we all are our own worst enemies i know i can be my worst enemy i was almost late to starting this live so i definitely understand where that comes from um so 
Now, the last card that I'm going to draw for you is the motivational card. And the, this, this is... It's neither energy nor spirit, but I find that these cards are a very powerful way of connecting with the messages that are going through. And I can definitely understand why this is why I love using them. That the card that I've literally drawn is you do not need to wait for the perfect conditions. You will find the perfect conditions in progress. So going back to this entire reading here, progress comes from change and adaptation and listening. You do not have the perfect conditions now. You will not have the perfect conditions in the future. You will not have the perfect conditions from the past. All you can do is find the perfection in the growth, listen, grow, and just become one with your energy and where you are going because you are definitely on this journey of great significance and great growth. And the energy is just beautiful. All right, with that now, I'm going to hold space for two minutes for you, hon, and we're going to do a little cleanse of your auric field and send some grounding energy from this medicine wheel right to you. So, so welcome, Karen. going to move on to our next reading for this life and then Jennifer Thomas are you there If not, I will tag you in, and if I can't tag you in now, I will tag your timestamp at the very end of the session. And if that is the case, again, I really do apologize for having to do it that way, but I just can't seem to get my chat to work correctly again today. Facebook, gotta love it. All right, so I'm gonna start this now by trying to tag you. At least I've got this working now. 55, 55, 5. So Jennifer, whether you're here or not, I'm going to start cleansing the space and putting some herbs into my cauldron for you. And then we're going to get straight into it. Oh, 
Bless. Have fun at work, Karen, and don't work too hard. All right, Jennifer, we're going to start with putting down a simple spread for you. Oh, Karen, I'm not Karen, sorry, have fun at work, but Jennifer, Jennifer, I feel like in this very, very moment, please correct me if I'm wrong, and if you're here, but I feel like you feel like you have been played the terrible fool. You have the card of four of swords in your present moment, the five of wands is your obstacle, the high priestess in your head space, which is reversed, the fool in your masculine space, which is reversed, and then the eight of pentacles, which is the card of great caution in your emotional energies, and then you've got the queen of swords reversed. I feel like in this very moment, um, you feel you have just really been played for a fool by your friends and your family. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But the Four of Swords represents in your present moment the ending of a truce. So this this is the ending. I'm definitely getting some I'm definitely getting a very strong revenance of friends here. Your friends have not exactly been honest with you. I'm getting this, this the energy I'm getting is just there is a lack of honesty surrounding you. The Five of Wands is a card of, for your, for your obstacle, it's a card of friends who are constantly there and supporting each other, but when it's reversed, it's the complete opposite. This card here shows me that you've, you're, you're surrounded by people that oh, don't have your best intentions at heart, but they're abusing the situation a little bit but at the same time you can be quite guilty for of abusing this situation as well spirit and energy want me to know that this is something that has been going both ways for a while it takes two to tango i'm being told very very strongly it takes two to tango and you've fallen into this tango trap the high priestess represents your headspace this card here tells me that in your head you have lost sense of your direction and I feel like this is definitely why you're reaching out and try and getting this collective live reading is you feel so lost in your life right now and spirit wants you to know that all of these things in your mind they're just in your mind you are lost but it's okay to be lost they're going to be sending you signs they're going to be sending you symbols they're going to be sending you messages the high priestess is the marker of all of that beautiful feminine energy that you hold within you. It is the great key of strength. It is a cornerstone of the oracle and the tarot. Because without the high priestess, you can't have spiritual development or spiritual growth. And the fact that it's marking your headspace at the moment is signifying to me that you are really starting your journey. You're constantly thinking about your journey and you're just letting your journey start to take hold. You've been played a fool and you know what? We all get played a fool. It's how you respond from being played a fool and how you grow from it that really shows your true significance. And the high priestess being reversed in your headspace is actually showing me that you are taking time within yourself to actually sit with these thoughts and sit with these emotions and find out why they're actually hurting you so much. Like I said before, it takes two to tango and you're really trying to find and connect to the analogy of this one, I feel. Going into your masculine energies, the fool being reversed, as this is why I keep saying, is you feel like you've been played like the fool, is you took that big leap of faith and you kept taking that big leap of faith and you just kept jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping and you just kept being the fool and you kept getting played for the fool. But you have such a pure heart and this is why you do it. You are such an honest to God, beautiful person. Your soul, your energy is just so beautiful and clear and pure. You are honestly such a divine person and you know this. Going into your emotions, the Ace of Pentacles here is showing me that you're, you're very much aware of what's actually going on. You are so aware of what's going on and you are being very cautious. You're closing the door on your heart a little bit and that is okay. I, I have in this very much this situation at the moment done the same thing. I, I live in the forest because it's just a lot easier being alone out here. Being alone isn't always a healthy thing, but 
in this case right now, I definitely feel for you, closing the door in your heart is going to give you a lot of potential growth, especially on your spiritual goals, the, being in the high priestess of your headspace. It's showing me that you've done this for a reason. You are protecting yourself and spirit wants you to know that that is exactly what you should be doing. The energy for that is just absolutely perfect. Protecting and holding yourself true to yourself is, honest to God, perfect. Going to your grounding is the Queen of Swords reversed. This is the other reason why I've been saying that you feel like you've been playing the ball a little bit and that you are in a lot of anguish and the reason why you're closing your heart is because you are very hurt. You've, you've not had an easy life. Your, your grounding is not... Like, am, I, am I correct in saying, please correct me if I'm wrong, but where you are is not where you want to be. But where you are is where you need to be, and this is what you're starting to find out within yourself. Alright, so with that, we're going to see what the angels have in store for you. And see what messages they're going to send through for you. But honey, it is okay to close those doors. It is absolutely okay. The law of attraction and the release and surrender. So each thought and investment pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony in your quest. And the angels are definitely going to gladly help in tune you to that. So as I was going on with the Eight of Pentacles, you've closed the door. But you know what? That's because you're doing it for a very good reason. You're starting to actually pay attention. You're focusing on what you actually really want in life. You're attracting the things that you want because as I was saying with your grounding is you're not where you want to be but you are where you need to be and you are starting to realize this and with the law of attraction and learning to help with the angels assistance of releasing and surrendering they're going to sh literally shower you with the abundance and show you all of these signs and these messages you are definitely 100% on the right path what you are doing is honestly beautiful and just keep doing it because it is okay as, as I was saying before, it's okay, as going with the pentacles, it is okay to close the door and be careful because we can't always be hurt. It, 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 in all honesty, pain hurts. It hurts. And the law of attraction and you do, you're doing exactly what you need to do. So now I'm going to draw a manifestation card for you. And then what then that brings us to the end of our time and I will sit here and help you with some healing. So the manifestation is huh, very much exactly what I've been saying for this whole read this whole reading. I won't let others stoke fear into my heart. I choose to remain true to who I am and where my dreams direct me, no matter the hardship that I may incur. It is in all honesty, close your doors and let yourself just sit and heal. You definitely need it. Definitely need it. You are a beautiful soul and I hope that that has resonated. All right, so I'm going to now put some more herbs into the cauldron for you and help cleanse your auric fields and just release some of this tension for you. And if I can be of assistance in any way, I will gladly be of assistance. All right. Thank you. Really, really have you to thank for finally getting out here and doing all of this wildly. You helped answer my questions.
Oh my god, please do, please do, please do. I find that the chime of a bell is so healing. I could not work without it. This tension with you, Jennifer, I really hope that this helps just release it for you. You, you hold on to so much, but it's okay. Hold on to it because you need to sit with these truths within yourself. Hold on to these. I know it's, it's always best to say, let things go. But in this moment, I'm very much being told to just hold on to it. With that, <coughs> thank you for sharing space with me, Jennifer. We are now going to move on to our next, which is Veronica Orlando. Are you there with us? Are you there, Veronica Orlando? If not, I'm going to tag you. And if I can't tag you, like I've said to everyone else, I will put you in at the end with your timestamp. And one brilliant. I'm putting your timestamp in. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to remove these cards, and then we're going to put some herbs into the cauldron. your session. Hmm. All right, Veronica. Let's get into this. Let's get down to the... Oh, you've got a card flying out already. At the devil again. We are seeing a lot of repetition today. A lot of toxic removal. I'm definitely getting a very, very strong trend that you guys are releasing the shackles of your past. Keep doing it. You are all doing so much work spiritually. And the devil is such a representation of that. He is a beautiful beautiful card great growth great 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 growth and um your obstacle is the six of wands this here is showing me that you have this journey and you've just taken the first steps there is no obstacle except for this challenge that you have just started i get this feeling that it's it's got to do with your friends it's got to do with your family but it's also something very very work orientated it's something that you hold a lot of pride and joy in are showing me that there's this, this some, there is something that you've just started, there is this endeavour, this journey that you're on. Six of Wands shows me that you're taking it full force, you're going with it. Oh my god, we just have a few cards fly away. I'm going to chase them down and see what they're telling us. Alright, let's, let, let's find out about this obstacle. The Queen of Cups, the Emperor, Page of Cups reversed. This is so. What am I? Correct me if I'm wrong in saying this, but the obstacle in your life at the moment is a challenge that you've put off for quite some time. It's held you a lot of emotional duress, and it's also made you really question: Is this the right thing for my future? Is this going to help my finances? I feel like that this has been such a heavy burden for you, and you are so worried about the masculine aspects of how it can affect your life, about the things that you control, the things that you spend. It's really very much a physical world thing that I'm feeling for you. And the page of cups. 
stops is the representation of the lack of faith in your sinfulness. It's showing me that you are you, you, you're worried about burning out. It's showing me that this obstacle, I feel you are so scared is going to burn you out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you, you are just very, very worried you will end up exhausted from this. I'm going to continue on with the reading and we will most likely probably find some more answers within it once I find your head space and your masculine and your feminine energies. Alright. So going to your headspace is the nine of wands. I find that this card is full of cathartic discussions. So definitely going to your obstacle. It's definitely plaguing on your mind a lot. And you're having a lot of conversations within yourself. You are constantly going, am I doing the right thing? Is it okay? Should I even be doing this? Am I on the right path? Do people want me to do this? I'm getting these very, very strong messages of, is this okay? Am, am I doing the right thing because when I look at your masculine cards and your feminine cards I met with the ten of swords and this is in your masculine energies and then I've got the hammer in your feminine energies. The ten of swords shows me that it took a lot of effort to get you to where you are right now. It took a lot of effort, a lot of pain and this is I feel very much why you've got all of this cathartic discussions going on in your head um, is because you are you're worried can I keep doing this? Can, can I actually keep going? I feel like this is very much the energy that I'm getting from you right now is, am I actually on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Spirit wants me to tell you, because when I look at your emotions and your feminine cards, the hammer reversed is, absolutely. You've had so much happen, and you know what? The only thing that's actually really gonna prevent you from actually kind of make you burn out is the fact is you forget what's happened to get you where you are and emotionally you actually kind of do that a little bit on purpose I feel because it brings you less pain it brings you less struggles less ambiguity if that makes sense and that I think will lead to your grounding by five of cups is all of this is actually something that's dwell dwelled on you for quite some time in your past because the five of cups is a card that actually constantly shows me if it's in your grounding that you're constantly looking back on things constantly second guessing things and just not taking it for what it is you're taking it for what it could be on your you're potentially just thinking about all of the outcomes of what could happen because of what's already happened and spirit really just wants me to tell you is write a diary. You really need to start writing things down. If you keep holding on to things and living in the past, you'll constantly be stuck in this same just circle that you're in at the moment, if that resonates. All right, so now we're going to see what the angels have in store for you. So the angels want you to know, oh yes, yes, trust in yourself. I've drawn the cards with the new partner and the trustworthy guidance. Trust in yourself and trust in this new obstacle, this new journey, this new partner in your life. This chance meeting has not been a mistake. It has been divinely or orchestrated as a catalyst. The only thing that's going to hold you back is the lack of writing things down. The lack of remembering what's happened and constantly thinking about what will be. This, this is going to be your hindrance in a sense. The trustworthy guidance is you've received all of these ideas and the answers to your prayers are coming. The angels want you to know that we are here to guide you. We have always been here to guide you and we will always be here to guide you. Trust in us, trust in this new journey that you're about to start, but write everything down, take notes, be calm, be collected, and just take it as it comes. We are here for you. With that, we're now going to draw the motiv motivational card for you, love, and let's see if this resonates with it all. I really, really do love these cards.
Hi Brooke, I'd love to fit you in, but unfortunately all the available spaces for this session have been taken and if you'd like to be involved in the next one, please send me a message or comment on here and I'll directly message you and we'll sort out sort getting you into the next one. Right. Reality can be shaped and changed by your direct actions. So if you act with inconstancy to forge your own ideal life, you will get there. So take notes, take heedance in what's happened, remember what has happened, but don't assume what will be. Trust in your guides and trust in this journey. I am so sorry, Brooke. These spots actually filled up within 24 hours. I was absolutely astounded to come in with a full list instead of taking them as I do in the lives. So I hope that that's resonated with you, Veronica. And now I'm just going to sit and make space for you while I cleanse and help heal your aura and send you some healing energy. Oh, I love your energy, Veronica. I really do. We have to... I, I, I'm definitely being told before I start, start sending you some healing energy. Please inbox me. I... I I feel like we have this lovely conversation to have. I'm definitely being told by spirit is, you want to rack my brains for something and speak to me about it. Whatever it is, after this live, speak to me about it. I will make time for you. Right. Now I'm going to make space and send some energy your way to heal and cleanse your auric fields. Everything will be fine, Veronica, and I will definitely hold space to you after this live, so please message me. I feel spirit is very strongly wanting us to connect. That's okay, Jennifer. Unfortunately, I've already gotten to you, but I will ta I've tagged you, and you will be able to watch in the live replay. Hi, Diesel. I think Diesel wants to speak to you as well, Veronica. Yes, yes you do. Oh. Yes. Hey Diesel, you can't sit on me. No, 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 can't sit on me. You are very welcome, Jennifer. All right, so with that now, we're going to move on to Dina. Dina, are you with us? If not, I'm going to tag you. And like I said to everybody before, if I can't tag you, I will put your timestamps in at the very end of this live and we will go from there. Oh, thank you so much to the both of you. It means a lot to read that. Excuse me, Diesel. No, you are not bringing the stick into the circle. <laughs> hey, 
and welcome back. Dina, if you're not here, I've just tagged you in at 122 and what we're going to do now is I'm going to put some herbs into the cauldron for you and then we're going to cleanse and make some space for you for your reading. Sending it right back. All right, Dina, let's get into this. All right, so your present moment and your present obstacle is marked by the hangman and the card of judgment. What this is telling me is whatever is happening right now, let it go. Just let it go. Your inner judgment is the only thing that is stopping this from actually moving forward. The card of judgment and the hanged man falling together, especially in this particular spread, shows me that letting this go, whatever this is, it's not, I don't feel like it's something very significant, but I feel like it's the only small thing that's actually hindering you from moving forward with the goals in your life. It's this very small minor thing. I feel like it's got something to do with the bang. It's got something to do with business. This, this is very much the strong energy that I'm getting. And let it go and just deal with it. Sort it out and you will be fine. This is very much the energies that I'm getting from this. Going into a headspace, it's the King of Pentacles. Absolutely. I've had a feeling it had to do with finances. The King of Pentacles is a great, great, strong masculine card. It shows me spending. It shows me on your mind is spending. It shows me on your mind is money. And don't shoot me down, but it also, there is a man. I'm definitely getting a romantic interest. Definitely getting a romantic interest here. Oh, yep. And to have the King of Wands fall into the masculine field and the Page of Cups to fall into your emotional fields and the Page of Wands as your grounding, this energy that I'm getting is this man is probably not the best romantic interest for you, but the creativity and his mind is absolutely beautiful. And he does... Hi, Dina, you're here? Am I resonating? Am I connecting? Is there definitely something new in your life that you're having... Is, is there a man? Is there a man? That, that is the main question. That is the main question. I'm very much getting from your present moment and your present obstacle is whatever is going on right now, just deal with it. Finances will be sorted, but there is just this... It's almost like curry. It's like spice. It's, it's invigorating. It's a beautiful energy. Whoever this man in your life is that you've recently connected with, well, it's the new projects then. That's, this is why I'm definitely getting all of this. Like, that's just so spicy. It's so full of energy. But there is so much excitement. Um, and then going into your emotions is the page of cups. So this is reversed. And I find that your when I see this here with the thread that I currently got at the moment is you are finally releasing. You are finally released so much in your life and you're like i am a better person i am doing great i have emptied my cup and now i get to fill it back up i've got all of these things coming into my life i've got all of these emotions coming in and i want to sit with them i want to be with them the page of wands shows me your grounding and the page of wands so the wands are the cards of fire and intelligence and wisdom and words and cunnings this shows me that right now in your grounding, you've got so many things happening. They are all beautiful. They are all brilliant. They are all full of energy. They are just, ugh, I've got so, I just want to sit. I just want to dance. That's the sort of energy that I'm getting from you right now is there is so much coming, but you really do have to sort out these issues with the bank. I'm, I'm very getting a very strong money. Going back to your headspace here is you need to sort out these issues with the bank. There, there's, there's no ifs or buts, you need to sort it out. So now we're going to get the angels out and see what they've got for you in store. So the messages from them. 
Oh, it's such a pure, beautiful energy. Everything is going beautifully, but you do need to sort out this financial issue. And the angels are telling me, what do you desire? Because within this desire comes the opportunity to forgive. And I feel like this is going straight back to the page of cups within your emotions. It's literally, what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. You have clearly decided upon the things that you want and the angels have seen that. They are going, okay, we're here for your support. We are going to give it to you. What do you want? We're going to give you whatever you need. They're going to give you the opportunity to be able to forgive your past transgressions. <laughs> They're going to give you the ability to... Uh, that's okay. This will all be in a live replay. You've been tagged so you know what time to go back to. But yeah, the angels are going to give you the opportunity to forgive your past transgressions. So the things that you were actually with the page of cups, that you've gone, oh, yes, I've emptied my cup. I know what I need to do. The angels are going, brilliant. We're going to let you grow. We are here to help you grow. You're going to forgive and forget and move forward and you are going to be so strong for it. This is a very, very positive reading. This makes me so happy for what, what is in store. The energy of this moment for you right now is just absolutely incredible, Dina. Just hold on to it and just grab it all. I feel like you just have this massive potential just to keep grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. And it's, oh, it's just going to work out so well for you. And the Knight of Pentacles, absolutely, absolutely. So I've just drawn that to place it here present. The Knight of Pentacles is an impetuous steed of great strength and stability. If you keep going with what you're doing right now, you're going to keep moving forward. Oh, I am so glad. All right. So with, with that now, I'm going to draw the motiv Motivational Manifesto card for you. I really need to shuffle. <laughs> I keep grabbing the cards that I put back on top. I am so sorry. All right. How many times have you caused yourself pain because you failed to pause and think? How would my best self view and respond to this situation? So going back to this entire reading, with this card here, I very, very strongly get that everything's working out for you. And you know what? Don't be afraid to fail because you are only going to learn from these failures. This is where the opportunity for forgiveness comes in and what do you desire go for it and you know what if it doesn't work out move on to the next project you've got a lot of them lined up i'm definitely getting this feeling of many 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 projects and i feel like this is why it comes back to the bank is these projects bring financial stress sometimes so we'll look into that later feel free to message me about that at a different time if you like but what we're going to do now very quickly and I'll hold space now for you for two minutes and I'll send some healing energy through to you to help cleanse your auric fields and just bring some balance and energy and healing your way. Hi Alison! Your energy is just so, so beautiful. 
I love that you all love the bell. There is just something so pure and cleansing about a brass bell. I'm getting a very, very strong Aquarian energy right now, Dina, before I let you go. I feel like you need to speak to an Aquarian. There is an Aquarian right now that is screaming for your attention. Speak to them. With that, we're now going to move on to our next, which is Natalia Wisniewski. I'm sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong. I'm not sure. Find out who are the Aquarians you're speaking to, because one of them is somebody you're speaking to at the very moment. <laughs> oh my God. It very much could be Alison. I forget that you're an Aquarian. Speak, communicate, definitely, definitely. You know what? That's probably why I got the energy as soon as you came in, right, right at the end of the reading, Alison. Just perfect, perfect timing. Okay. to tag you Natalia mm. one thirty three. Okay. Natalia, are you there with us? If not, I'm going to make space for you now. I'm going to put some herbs into the cauldron. And let's see what the cards reveal today for you. Natalia, I'm going to start by drawing the cards for you now. Let's see what they have to show for us. Alright, so your present moment is marked by the Page of Pentacles and your obstacle is the Eight of Wands. What this here is showing me is right now you feel very vulnerable and you lack a lot of confidence within yourself. And what energy and what spirit want me to tell you is... You have all of this strength. There is no obstacle but your own mindset. The Eight of Wands is like the Major Arcana card of strength. It is the minor, in my variation and interpretation of this, the minor representation of that Major Arcana card. So when this comes up as your obstacle, it shows that you have absolute great strength within yourself, but you feel very vulnerable with what I'm being felt. I actually feel it right here. You feel terribly, terribly anxious at times. Quite, quite, quite anxious. And the Eight of Wands wants me to show and tell you that you, you have all of this great strength within you. You have all of this great, just, you are stronger than you believe you are. Do not let what people tell you bring you down. The Ten of Wands marks your headspace, and the star marks your masculine and the temperance. We are definitely, definitely seeing a lot of repetition with all of you today. You are all definitely putting down your fruits of your labor, and this is beautiful to see. I love seeing that you're all taking those steps for your future goals. Of, who do I look after? The, the, 
that that's what I'm getting. Who do I look after? I, I, I feel like you, you're a, you're not a carer, but you are a carer. And there is just so much oh, fear. I'm, I'm just, I'm getting this fear. It's a fear of failure, like that you're not good enough. This, this is definitely what I'm feeling in your headspace and what, what, what angels and what spirit and what energy want me to tell you is you are not a failure. You are definitely not a failure. You are a very strong, very independent, very beautiful person. Your masculine and your feminine energies show me this. Same with your grounding. It shows me that you feel vulnerable in your own headspace, but when I see the star in your masculine energy, it shows me that you are literally doing what you need to do to move forward. And there is no crime in having to tell the world, no, I'm busy. There is absolutely no crime in saying that I am busy because you because being busy in the masculine way of things is being physical busy in the physical realm so this is making sure that you're getting to work making sure that you're feeding the friends feeding your family feeding your pets feeding your loved ones it makes sure that you're spending money where you need to be paying your bills it is okay to be human and go no i don't have time you are a very strong person and i, I Oh, you are so strong and you're doing everything you need to do. Um, with your emotions, the temperance being there as well shows me that you've, you've got... Uh, the reason why I feel that you feel like this is people come to you with their problems all the time. And this is why the star is showing me and telling me that you're just like, no, 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 no. I have so much going on right now. I actually really need to focus on myself. And this is where you're going back to the page reverse shows your just lack of faith in yourself spirit wants you to know that what you're doing is what you need to do and it's okay to be human and it's okay it's definitely okay to just close the door and take time for yourself because your grounding is marked by the lovers it's you need to find that love within yourself you lack you lack your own love i feel that I, like the spirits and energy are very much telling me is show yourself the same love and the same appreciation same spiritual awareness and beauty that you show everybody else around you. It's it's completely okay to go, I cannot do this right now. You are strong and find strength in the word no. You really need to find strength in the word no, I'm being told. Now, the messages from the angels. Let's 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 see. Let's see what they let, let's see what they want to partake and push in on this. Mm. Yes. Yes. As I was saying, it is okay to change the direction of your life. Literally, it is okay to go, no, I am human. I can't do this right now. You want to do something else, and you know what? And the spirits and the angels are right there with you. The change in direction, the changes that you're experiencing are of divine direction, but a newborn willingness to open your heart to love and guidance. You are protected now, and you will be protected in the future. So follow your path, be happy, and get the outcomes you desire. You're planting your seeds. You are definitely planting your seeds. And like I was saying before, those seeds need to be tended to. A farmer, I'm just going to take words straight out of my mouth here. I've got 388 acres of scrub. And if I don't tend to my forest, it's going to overgrow. It's going to become wild and crazy and untamable. And I'm, I'm struggling to tame it because it has been like that for so long. And this change of direction is okay. Tame that garden, tame those things that are going on in your life, and focus on service to yourself. Like this is this is what the spirits and angels are telling me: is focus on yourself, because you are always. This is why I feel like I very much like I don't think you're actually a carer, but the energy that you have is of a carer, and this is why people always are coming to you. But you need to now just focus on your own service, your own soul's desires, and your joyfulness to serve and swim with your own constant stream of bliss. Learn to just 
find the love within yourself. Oh. You are a very, very, very beautiful soul, Natalia. Find strength in the word no. You really need to find strength in the word no. So now we're going to grab a motivational card for you. Hi, Kelly. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as I was just saying, the joyous master knows that amid all the chaos and all the conflict and all of the hurrying that is wickedness of this world, there is something solid that is beautiful and steady within the goodness of your own mastery. It, it's really just telling me and sh really showing me that you really need to just be true to yourself. There is always going to be chaos and there is always going to be conflict change the direction you're planting your own seeds and you're doing what you really need to do right now and it's okay find true and honest strength i don't know why i keep saying this but learn to say no you really need to learn to say no there is just something about that word that makes you feel so uncomfortable you feel like you are a wicked and a horrible person because of it but it's okay if you don't say no you're going to burn out we all burn out if we don't say no. And if you don't say no, as I was saying about the farm and the crop, your fields are going to overgrow. Your seeds won't sow. You're not going to be able to water them or tend to them. And you are going to just lose yourself a little. Just learn learn the true strength in the word no. Hi, Sandy. Now, with that, we're now going to just... I'm going to hold space for you and I'm going to send some energy and healing your way. I feel like you definitely need it and definitely, definitely find strength in that word, no. I definitely feel like that, that is just, no, you just need to know the word, no, just no, 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 no. Repeat it, repeat it in the mirror, just repeat it constantly. Say the words, no, no, no. I'm definitely very, very strongly being told that you need to say no. With that, we're going to put some herbs into the cauldron for you, love, and send some healing energy your way. Everything will be fine and it's all going to work out. I can 100% guarantee that for you. It is all going to work out. And yes, the feathers fall out of this because I constantly add and adapt and take out of it. ever get a, a feather in any of your ritual tools, you can guarantee that they've come from this. with me and we're going to move on to our next reading.
which is for our beautiful wild leaf. I'd say that you're there, but I can see your comment. You're definitely there. Now it's time for you. So I'm going to turn to the space for you and get this board set up to give you a small reading. into the cauldron for you love. Cleanse the space. And then we're going to start. At any point feel free to stop me, question me or anything and if you've got any questions please 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 feel free to ask as well. Okay so now we're gonna start. I'm gonna start shuffling. So your present moment is marked by the Six of Wands and your obstacle is the Ten of Swords. What I'm definitely getting with this is in your present moment, you've got this goal, you've got this plan, you've got this thing that you really, 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 really want to do and everything's going great. Except your anxiety is preventing you from actually making the first step. You are like, oh my God, what happens if I fail? What happens if I stop? What happens if this just doesn't work? Ten of Swords is a card of great depression, great self-doubt. Being in your obstacle, this is telling me that right now you are severely questioning yourself. I don't know why you're questioning yourself. You have a beautiful, beautiful energy. But there is a terrible, terrible anxiety sitting over yourself at the moment that I can feel in your present obstacle. It's just this very just like I almost I don't know why, but I, I kind of feel a little sick. I actually feel a little like I want to vomit. Like I, I don't know why. Like, maybe you'd be able to tell me this, but there is just so much anxiety. Maybe you're just a. It could most definitely be grief, because I just I feel so sick. I, I was about to start drawing into more cards now, so we're going to go for the cards for your headspace, masculine energies, and your feminine energies. Oh, okay. I'm definitely getting a very, very, very strong sense of grief now. So the Hermit is the card that marks your headspace. This card here is telling me that in your mind right now, you're holding on to everything. You're holding on to all of the memories. You're holding on to all of these lessons, all of these learnings, all of these things that have happened in life. You're just holding on to them and you're trying to remember. You're trying to hold on to just there's just something that you're really just not wanting to let go. You just don't want to let it go. The energy is very much like somebody that was very, 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 very important. They, they taught you a lot. Being being marked in your masculine energies by the Ace of Pentacles reverse, this tells me that something came to a complete and utter end. Something has just stopped and ceased. There is no more. There will be no more. The Ace of Pentacles either marks the start of something new or the end of something. And when it's put into the masculine realm of things, it represents that you have literally just stopped doing something or something has stopped in your life and there was nothing that you could do about it. And when I go over to your emotions here, we've got the Ten of Cups reversed. This here is telling me that it, it was, there used to be something that brought you so much joy in life, so much joy, and now you know it's gone. The Ten of Cups is the ending of ceremonies, the ending of marriages, the ending of relationships, the ending of just... It is a card of great commitment and great joy when it's upright, but when it's reversed, it just shows me that things have not gone right, that things are not going right, that you're worried about where things are going to go, where things are going to be from this point on. I really do just get this horrible feeling of wanting to be sick. And I'm not, I'm not sure why, and I just want you to know that it's going to be okay. Spirit Spirit really wants you to know it's going to be okay. But I just, I really do have this horrible feeling of wanting to be sick. Are you, are you currently feeling a little queasy at the moment? If so, that would probably explain it. But going to your grounding as well, it's the card of justice reversed. This here feels that, to me, that 
you feel very, very unvalidated almost in a way. It's not, it's, it's not validation. That, that's not the right word, but you feel like, oh, how do I put it? I think I need another card for this. Yeah. You feel like a door has been closed. You, you feel like with the five of pentacles, it feels like things are just not going your way. Um, you want to open all of these new opportunities and you want to do all of these things, but the doors just keep kind of closing in your face a little bit is what I'm getting. And you feel very, very, for the right of proper word, um, oh, what is the word? You feel like you're not good enough. Oh, uh, that makes so much sense. That's why I feel like the doors are being slammed in your face. That's why I feel like everything that you've tried to do with the justice reverse, showing me that it's not working. It's you feel un. It is unvalidated. Was the right word? Unvalidated is the right word. You feel very, very unvalidated, and all of the things that you've done to get to where you are right now, just you feel. Yeah, you just feel like you're not respected not respected at all so now i'm going to draw a couple of cards from the angels and we'll see what they've got in store for you boys will always be boys boys will definitely be boys like children always forget what their parents have done for them until it's either too late or they're a lot older and no longer in the nest Again, the opportunity to forgive. We are seeing a lot of repetition today. I feel like a lot of us have, a lot of us today, like in, in a lot of these readings, we are really, really trying to hold on. For some of you, please, 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 it's actually okay to be holding on to what you're holding on to. But right now in this moment is forgive. The angels are saying, this is your opportunity to forgive. The situation brings you the opportunity to heal and grow and release your negative patterns. It holds onto the intentions of seeing the other people's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release these unforgiving thoughts. Just reach out to us and these feelings and energies and we'll lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. And again, wow, what do you desire? from the angels you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you are ready and deserving of them they're going to rush into your life hi chris oh my god all the way from south africa that is incredible but yes this is the angels are going to, they're telling me that it's time to forgive it's okay boys will be boys and what do you desire because guess what the world is your oyster so with that, now I'm going to grab the motivational card for you and let's see. Gee, again, another repetition, another repetition. There is a lot of repetition today. The joyous masters know that amid all the chaos and conflict and all the hurry of the wickedness of this world, there is something solid within that that is beautiful, steady and good. Even if things aren't working out, they're still going to work out. What you wish and what you desire is what you need to do. It is okay for things to literally end. It's okay. This is just what happens in life. And so with that, I hope that that's all resonated. Now I'm going to hold space and do some cleansing for your auric fields and your energy. I'm just going to put some herbs into the cauldron now for you, love. I'm going to need some more coals, see? You are very, very, very welcome. Now I'm going to hold space and give you a small healing.
send all of the energy from this earth point in my medicine wheel and send it to you for grounding and assistance. All the energy and all of the cleansing today's reading has come from the earth wheel today, from the point of earth within the statics. And with that, I hope that it brings grounding and great support and great strength for you all. Love to fit you in, Chris, but unfortunately, you'd have to be able to put in. You'd have to be put in for the next one because all available spaces are unfortunately taken for this live. Oh, thank you so much, Wild. I'm so sorry. live thank you so much for sharing space with me wildly we're going to now move on to pamela are you there with us pamela if not i'll tag you and if i can't tag you like i've said i will put you in a timestamp at the end of this reading and then we'll go from there Right, Pamela, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cleanse the table for you and make space and put some herbs into the cauldron and cleanse it so that we can get a nice, clean, pure line of communication for you today. So let me know if you're here, let me know when you jump in. If not, I will jump through with the reading and continue it anyway. Right. say hi if not I'm going to start by putting down some cards for you Ooh, I think all your cards just fell out So Pamela, in this present moment, you're marked by the Queen of, um, not the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords reverse. This card here is telling me that you've been on this journey. You've been on this big, big journey recently. This is just, this is just what I'm feeling. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But what I'm feeling is you've just been on this big journey right now and you want to sit. You just want to sit down. It's not that you've done. It's not that anything's really going on. You just want... Ugh. Very much, you want a holiday. I'm very much getting this energy of you just want a holiday. But at the same time, you know you, you can't have one. But your obstacle is marked for the Empress. So this here shows me that there's not really actually that much of an obstacle for you. 
the Empress is showing me that you just want to sit with yourself. You just want some time. You just want some patience to be with your thoughts and your desires because the Empress is showing you all of this divine energy that's coming through, all of this divine knowledge, and you just want to sit with it and you want to be with it. Um, the card that's marking your headspace is the King of Pentacles Reverse, and the reason why this is here is the energy that I'm getting from this card here is actually signifying to me that you've just got a lot of family stress going on right now. You've got a lot of family drama, and it's constantly plaguing your mind. You're wanting there to be able to help your nieces and your nephews. You want to be there to help your cousins, your brothers and your sisters. You want to be there to help your friends and all of that, but there's there is a beauty in that. There is an absolute beauty in that. But when it starts to affect your finances, this is, I'm very much getting that again with this card here. This is when it starts to affect your finances. That's when it starts to affect your stress. And Spirit wants me just to tell you that, you know what? Just, just it's okay. You don't have to take the kids to McDonald's all the time just because they want grandma to take you. That gets exhausting kids are a handful sometimes um going on to your masculine energies now is the king of wands this card here is showing me the reason why that you want to sit with yourself is you've got plans you have big plans in store i can feel that you have big plans the king of wands is a card of great creativity he's a man that knows what he wants he is a man that knows how to get what he wants he is a man that knows how to create what he wants he is an ambitious man, full of power and full of fire. So sitting in the masculine energies, this card here is telling me is you, you want to sit with yourself because you've got this plan, you've got this action that you want to do, but you want to make sure that you're doing it right. And going over to your emotions, the Three of Pentacles is telling me that you want to do this by yourself. You've actually put in a lot of the hard work and you just want to do this for yourself. You want to sit with yourself for a while. You just want to be with yourself for a while and you want to do it yourself. And there is absolute beauty in that and I actually love this for you. I, I have this very, very, very strong, good feeling for you that doing it by yourself is going to bring you a lot of balance within yourself. It's finally going to actually remove a little bit of stress because you've done this yourself. And you will continue to do this yourself. Then I'm going to, then as I come down here to your grounding, this is marked by the Hierophant reverse. So the Hierophant is the High Priest, and the High Priest is like the High Priestess. When it's reversed, it's showing me, this is why I'm feeling the energy of exhaustion. It's showing me that he just wants to be at peace with himself for a little while. He wants to envelop the lessons that he's learned and the things that he's listened to. He just wants to be himself. He wants a holiday. Your grounding is marked by this and it's very strong. It's very beautiful. It's very pure. <coughs> and it's okay. Sit with yourself for a little while. I'm sure everybody actually is expecting it of you. You've just got to let them know. And they're all going to sit and they go, Okay, okay, honey. Go, go have some time. Go have some time. We've got you. We, we, we'll take on some responsibilities for you. We, we'll help shirking the load off of your back. And with that, now I'm going to grab some angel cards and see what they've got in store for you. And again, I need to shuffle. So their messages is acceptance and it's time to let go. So as I was just saying, it's time to let go and be you. Sit with yourself for a while, just let it all go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset of your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginnings and if we are with you through each phase, um, and we are with you through each phase and each cycle. So they want you to know that, you know what? Sit with yourself and be with yourself for a little while because you need this for yourself for a little while and everybody's actually been waiting for you to say it. It's it's not a burden, it's nothing, it's just you have these plans, you have these goals and you want to do them by yourself and there is an absolute beauty and acceptance in that. As, as they've literally said, they accept you for the journey that you're about to take. 
See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everybody to their highest potential. And I definitely feel like this is why you want to do this thing for yourself is because it's not for yourself at the end of the day. I get this very strong feeling that it's definitely not for yourself at the end of the day. It's actually for the benefit of everybody around you, but you just want to do this for yourself, by yourself for a little while. And I think that there is an absolute beauty in that. So with that now, I'm going to grab one of the motivational cards for you. And let's see, let's see what messages come through. Oh, <laughs> it literally just shuffled again. This is the third time that this has come up now. The joyous master knows that amid all of the chaos and conflict and all the hurry and the wickedness of this world, there is something solid within it. And that is beautiful and steady and good. Take your holiday and take your leave. It's your time. So with that now, I'm going to make space and give you some healing for your energy and your auric field. And I really hope that that reading resonated with you. Whew. going to make space now and send some energy and healing your way. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. If you're all wondering what Dachia means, Dachia is the translation of teacher or spiritual person or witch doctor. It's also kind of like a father or a spiritualist. that thank you so much for sharing space with me Pamela now we're going to move on to Tina Tina are you there if not I'm going to tag you and then we're going to cleanse this space and then we're going to get into it for you all right so the time now I am so glad. All right, Tina Powell. Oh my God, hello. You joined just in time. Perfect timing, literally, just as I tagged you. I'm going to cleanse the space now for you. I'm going to put some herbs into the cauldron. And then we're going to get into this. And you're the last reading for the night. After this, I will be letting all of you beautiful souls go. And then I will be going through tagging the people that I was unable to tag. And putting anybody who wants to go onto my next live onto my new list. Hi. All 
right, just cleansing the space now for you and letting in the divine energy for a clear and communicative channel. So your present moment is marked by the card death reversed. This card here is not a bad card. Death is a beautiful card unless he's reversed. This is where the dark annotations of death comes from. What this is telling me is right now in this moment in your life, you are holding on to something and it is really, 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 really hindering you. Death is all about rebirth. Death is all about a new start. And when he's shown as reversed in your present moment, it's showing me that there is something that you're really holding on to. There is something that you do not want to let go. So please correct me if I'm wrong when I'm saying this, but I feel like there is definitely something in your life. There, there's a very strong energy of hindrance and decay, essentially. And your obstacle of, yes. So this is something that I'm definitely getting has come from your past. This is something that's been holding on to you for quite some time. I feel like it's a bit of a weight on your back. The Five of Cups is your obstacle. And this is showing me that when it appears here, that it's a thought or a process that you constantly sit on and ponder and you allow it to take a lot of your time and a lot of your space. You allow it to take up a lot of your compendium and day. And what I mean by that is you can think on this and stress on this all day, every day, for months on end. The Seven of Wands is the card of your headspace. This card here tells me that in your headspace, you don't want to worry about this present moment in your life. You've got all of these things that you need to do. You are an absolute warrior and you are doing it. Oh, yep, yep. And that explains why I'm seeing this in your headspace. The Seven of Wands is the card of a warrior. So this is telling me that what's going on in your head right now is you are fighting. You are literally fighting. You're like, no, no, no. I am strong. I am wise. I've got this. I will stand on my own and I will move forward. I've got all of these goals and all of these ambitions and all of these plans that I'm doing. You will not stop me. This is what's going on in your head. And then in your masculine, it's marked by the Ace of Cups. This here is an absolutely beautiful card to have in your masculine realm. Because your masculine realm are the things that you control, the things you can touch. They're all of the physical things in life. Masculine energies are all about control and all about getting things done. Yes, you are so ready to break free. Literally, this card here is saying that the Ace of Cups is a brand new emotional start. It is a great card of power. You are on the right track. And the Two of Cups is in your emotions and your feminine energies. This card here is the card of commitments and enjoyments. This card here is what I would call the card of engagements or literally pure divine connection. You are so ready to let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. There is nothing holding you back except for your grounding the four of swords reversed so the four of swords is the card of truces the card of commitments and the card of the circle so if you look at it like this these four walls represent the sword when the, the when the swords are reversed in this instance it breaks that circle so what this here is saying is your grounding has been completely and utterly broken but the best thing about that is because you do not have that truest foundation anymore, you are able to build whatever foundation you want from this. You have the power of a new start. You have the power of the warrior. You literally have in your moment right now the card of death reversed. The card is, so this is decay. So what this here is saying, if you, you can let go of the past and you can just let it go and forget, and you know what? I'm getting a very strong, it is okay to block. It's completely and utterly okay. Hi, Lorna. It's completely and utterly okay to block them out of your life completely. I come from a culture where I was completely segregated, thrown out of home at the age of 14, and that's okay. 
I blocked a lot of people out of my life because of that. And you know what? Because of it, I am now a much stronger and better person. Family is not family because of blood. Blood is a curse. Blood is definitely a curse at the end of the day. So if you hold yourself to the annotations of what you think you should be connected to just because blood is involved, it's always going to hold you back. Mm. But I am, I, I just had this urge to pull another card. It's okay to block and all of that sort of stuff and just because they're blood, but the Eight of Pentacles has come up within your emotions. They are going to play the guilt game. They will play the guilt game. The energies of guilt are very, very, very strong. I'm, I'm getting this very strong revenant. Uh, you've been told that you are a horrible mother. You've been told that you are doing all of the wrong things. What you do for work is not a job. You know what? These things are only being said to hurt you. Complete and utter gaslighting. Oh my God, that is horrible. I actually just got divorced myself, so I know all of that stress. My divorce was finalized only a few weeks ago. Thank God it's finally done. But yes, so going back to the reading now, I'm gonna draw a couple of cards from the angels and I'm, I'm definitely getting told to draw some cards from my Merlin deck as well. So I'll do them first actually. Mm, that's the hardest part. Oh, and the Five of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords reversed is it's not going to be an easy cord to cut. The Page of Swords is there's going to, unfortunately, this energy is, oh my God, he is a horrible man. I get this, and I do not want to sound horrible, horrible when I say this at all. I'm of Croatian heritage and Croatian elderly men are incredibly stubborn, incredibly my way or the highway. And this is the energy that I'm getting right now. And before the cut comes, there's going to be an attack. Unfortunately, I just want you to have full warning of that. It's going to come nasty before it gets better, which is why we got the Eight of Pentacles as a part of the new caution. So cards get reversed so that they change the meaning because each card has its own meanings and when it's reversed, it has the reversed meaning of the meaning that it's said. So take death, for example, when he's upright, he's all about rebirth and growth, but when he's reversed, he's all about literal death and it shows you that nothing is growing and you have to let things go. And that's what this reading here is quite showing for our lovely Tina here. All right, so now we're going to go into the angels and let's see what message the angels have for you. Oh, mine took two years as well. Literally took two years. All right, so the messages from the angels is there is much joy coming and assertiveness. So I put the assertiveness. So the assertiveness from the angels literally fell directly on top of the reverse page of swords and the card of caution. You know what? Who cares what he says? Stand your ground. This situation can be healed gently with love and you've requested it and you also need your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. You will stand right behind you and will be with you and help you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Speak your truth, don't stand down. The angels will be there to help you and support you. And you know what? If anything does happen, that's what the police are for. I'm getting very, very, very much told that if you have to, do it. Because once you do, there is great, great joy. Great joy coming. As the angels say, joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible and joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. All of this that is happening just shows darkness. So if you think of joy, you'll be able to let go of that darkness. And it allows you to attract and create the present and future moments at the highest possible beautiful levels. If you go back to the court, it may, I feel like we, we should talk about this over a DM a little bit more because this is a little bit too in depth. But there is definitely a lot. I also froze up on the camera just before. 
but there is a lot of joy coming for you. Just hold on to the joy that you have right now because the angels are there guiding you and helping you. Now I'm going to take a motivational card for you now. Oh, just wait until you get a personal reading from me because this layout is only half of my actual layout. I read the energy so we get really, really in depth with the energies of the moments. But I am not clairvoyant, I want to stress that. Right. So the motivational card to you is the main motivation of humankind is to be free, to express our true selves and pursue your dreams without restriction and experience the things that may be called personal freedom. So what they want you to know is be true to yourself. So with that, I'm going to leave that with you and going to now move on to our cleansing of your auric fields and just help release this horribly stressful energy. Wow, that was intense. Oh, I have to cleanse before I even add some herbs. Oh, that was intense. Literally all of my devices glitched out. My tablet, my phone, everything. So I'm sorry for everybody on the other end as well. Right. So I'm going to sit with you now for the next two minutes and send some energy and healing your way. So if you can just sit with me for the next two minutes, that would be incredible. You are very, very, very welcome, Tina. You have a beautiful day too, Lorna. Thank you for joining. I really, really hope that this, this helps. I'm sending you as much positivity as I can. Thank you so much for sharing space with me, Tina. With that, this actually comes to the end of my live. And I am so thankful for all of you who have participated today. Thank you so much for joining me in my medicine wheel. And I hope that all my messages today have resonated with you all. Yes, unfortunately, that heaviness is definitely what I feel. There is unfortunately something coming to a front, but we can definitely touch on that via an inbox if you like. But yes, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Oh, good evening, Sandy. Sorry that you've caught the end of my live again, but I hope you all have a beautiful day, a beautiful morning and a beautiful afternoon. And I hope to be able to share space with you all very soon. Bye for now.